staring right at us. He's already coming up. Do you see him? I know you want it. Oh, look at that launch. I love tiny vertebrates so much. I was on the children's dance app, TikTok, and I saw a slideshow of photos that made me do the little, the little feet thing. Yeah, that's the one. This is honestly just a bit of a hangout video to get to know the tiniest snakes that I'm keeping, a species that I actually like so much more than I was expecting. <gasps> Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm... And this, my friends, is Boadin lineatus. This is a Tanzanian house snake. I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. <sighs> One of the coolest aspects of all African house snakes is that they are more closely related to highly venomous elapids than they are to the entire colubrid family. That is crazy when you consider how much they look like little rat snakes or little king snakes. Maybe another less fun fact is that their bite hurts super bad. I've never been bitten, but Penelope did bite the vet and he said it was the most painful snake bite he's ever experienced. Dramatic? I don't know. He bled a lot, so <laughs> maybe it's true. And with how small these guys are, I would be surprised if that was true, but who knows? House snakes are amazing. All right, I'm gonna at least attempt to measure these guys here. Let's try to do this one-handed. To my knowledge, these are the smallest, slightly readily available captive bred house snakes in the United States. All right, this is 17 inches. Good. Good. These guys are easily half the size of other species of house snakes, including Boeding Capensis. That's my, my dear girl, Penelope. Nope, go along that, just like that. Okay. All right. He's longer than I thought. He's almost full grown. Yeah, man, 18 inches. Wow. You are so much bigger than I thought. I expect a male to get about 60 centimeters and then a female about 100. And believe it or not, Walter here is two years old. That means he's nearly fully grown. They're really not too difficult to handle. Again, you want to be really gentle. I probably wouldn't hand them to uh, anybody under the age of, I don't know. What age do you stop squishing? Eight? Eight years old? Don't hand these to children. So one little thing I have noticed about them that's different than Penelope, uh, Boyd and Capensis, is that I don't know if she's smarter I don't know if she's thinking about it or making these choices, but she does crap in one corner of her enclosure and these guys just let it rip wherever and then they roll in it. And uh, I had to give Walter a bath the other day because he had poop all over his stomach. Some of them also have this very adorable little bug eye. I am not sure how it's passed genetically, but to my understanding, some of them have it and some of them do not but all of them have extremely good eyesight at night. I bought these guys as a pair and as siblings fully intending on breeding them. The more clean and pronounced that lateral line is down their body, the more expensive they are. So my plan with these two is to pair them up in about a year, and then I'm gonna hold back the baby with the best lateral line, and then I'm gonna outcross that baby out to an unrelated individual. If anybody has worked with these guys or just house snakes in general, let me know what you think of my plan, but I think it should be okay. Getting them to the size they need to be to breed means we need to feed them, and these guys love to eat. Oh, they're snuggling. That's so cute. These guys have an absolutely unbelievable feed response. And it's part of the reason why I love African house snakes so much. You gotta come out. I'm gonna make you work for it. I know you want it. Oh, look at that launch. Oh my God. Good job, buddy. African house snakes are well known for those perfect little coils. Look at that. Little feetsies hanging out. Yep. All right. Oh, this is so perfect. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, good grab. Oh my God, did a little flip. I don't have an outro plan, but I do want to say that your support makes this possible. That's what makes it fun. So thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.